Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, my top 10 worst movies for 2013. I mean, uh, uh, so yeah, welcome to movie hell, guys, because uh, because the previous top 10 list was movie heaven, but 2013 also had some horrible pieces of fucking shit, so unhappy 10th anniversary to them. Uh, so without further ado, if you want to know my top and least favourite movies from 10 years ago, then just keep watching. At number 10, a movie 43. I mean, the only good that came out of a movie 43 is uh, Chris Stuckman's uh, timeless video, Why Movie 43 is Wrong. And his rants on annoying movie guys are some of my favourite videos on his channel uh, in general. But so... Uh, Movie 43 is uh, a failed attempt to recapture the uh, Love Actually uh, style of comedy. It has uh, no freaking plot uh, whatsoever. It's just uh, a bunch of uh, celebrity cameos uh, like uh, Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry, Kate Winslet, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, Chris Pratt, and uh, I uh, cringed 43 times. Uh, and uh, and and I, I, I there was a not a single laugh that's a left my mouth for what watching this movie. It's a maybe the lowest rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes of 2013 because it just has a uh, measly four percent. Whoa, the critics uh, destroyed this one utterly. At number nine, a Turbo or Terrible. I mean, DreamWorks, so you had something decent going with the Croods. Why uh, would you release uh, this uh, snail Pixar's Cars uh, slash a Cars Life uh, ripoff? I mean, this uh, uh, snail racing was uh, clearly one of their baby movies uh, made uh, to uh, play babysitter to uh, toddlers uh, instead uh, of... Uh, 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 trying to be a good movie. Even the animation style doesn't feel like DreamWorks. So, you know, and DreamWorks have given us uh, the greatest animation ever, but this looks way too cartoony and too illumination-like. It is uh, a uh, snail-paced, uh, juvenile uh, story that's uh, even a snail in real life uh, could uh, outrun the pacing of uh, this uh, trash. At number eight, The Smurfs 2, or The Sucks 2. I mean, why would you make a sequel to the 2011 live-action Smurfs? Just why? I mean, it, it, uh, it, you mean, you can see why they rebooted The Smurfs with Smurfs The Lost Village, at least that attempted to stay true to the original cartoon, and at least it's not New York in this movie. Paris is always uh, f full of glamour, but uh, it's still on Earth, uh, for like, the s these live-action Smurfs movies uh, uh, are trying so hard to be the Transformers of the Smurfs, in that they're trying to bring the Smurfs into our world, and it doesn't fucking work. Uh, it's this one bored the crap out of me even more than the first of Smurfs, and uh, and that talking duck oh, was the biggest pain in the neck. At number seven, walking with dinosaurs, more like uh, avoid uh, this uh, dino uh, poop uh, like the plague. This uh, is a. Uh, atrocious case of visuals over uh, actual story. Like, it's the Lion King remake of 2013, though not uh, as uh, hellishly shit as that. Sure, the visuals in the background uh, do uh, look uh, uh, rather stunning, uh, but uh, they're not uh, as uh, groundbreaking as that of Disney's Dinosaur from 2000, which 13 years before this movie looked uh, ahead of its time, and uh, why have the characters be a herd of Pachyrhinosaurus? Is it this? The story is 
nothing to do with the original BBC miniseries Walking with Dinosaurs, which is a Emmy uh, Award and BAFTA Award winning masterpiece, uh, but by the way. Uh, but uh, this uh, just uh, uh, adds in a, a shitty, corny and uh, uh, childish narration and, uh, and, and, and just and a ton of poop jokes. So, we, like, I think I stepped in some fear. Are you fucking kidding me? Kids are way above uh, that uh, 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 low humour. At number six, Cloudy River Charts of Meatballs 2. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, but this uh, meatball uh, sequel uh, was poisonous. Sony, what the fuck? <sighs> Watching this was like I was uh, uh, going through literal food poisoning after eating at the most unhygienic restaurant which a health inspector had to shut down. First Cloudy River Charts of Meatballs is uh, crazy over races and uh, this sequel uh, was uh, a step below even that. I mean, it's just... Uh, Flynn and Sam Sparks and Flynn's dad and Mr. T's a cop going to this uh, island of uh, food uh, that uh, doesn't even uh, look appetising. It has literally no reason to exist other than uh, cash. Uh, it uh, does fuck all uh, to uh, grow uh, the characters or or expand its law. Uh, yeah, uh, it should have gone straight to DVZ. At number five, uh, free birds are more like a uh, fuck birds. Ah, oh, I mean a a turkey Thanksgiving animated comedy. These lazy buggers uh, did not try with free birds at all. They just were like, oh, uh, let's have uh, Owen Wilson and uh, Woody Harrelson voice a two. Uh, turkeys and, and Amy Poehler is even in this movie. She would uh, go on to voice Joy in Inside Out, so thank goodness for her, but so she is uh, w way uh, above uh, 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 this uh, 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 unintelligent and ugly looking and boring uh, waste of uh, precious uh, time. And uh, the character designs uh, look uh, like uh, uh, pathetic animators just uh, pulled them out of uh, the garbage or something like this is a failed uh, chicken run ripoff attempt at 101. At number four, a good day to die hard. I mean, uh, th this is literally a good -a day -a to uh, end uh, this fucking franchise. Hurts that I have to put a Die Hard movie on this list because the original Die Hard is a classic uh, masterclass action movie. Uh, one of the most unique uh, among uh, Christmas movies but uh, as they went on the Die Hard movies are uh, just uh, uh, declined and declined in quality to the point why they reach the fifth one they've hit rock fucking bottom. John McClane uh, is now uh, just a digital double. This movie uh, way overdoes the CGI to the point where the action looks uh, as uh, uh, unconvincing as the shitty action in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Disaster and John McClane's son played by Jai Courtney. I love Jai Courtney in, as Captain Boomerang in Suicide Squad, but in this, oh, just hand uh, the guy uh, the worst actor Razzie right now. It's uh, depressing the Die Hard franchise had to die this slow and painful death with this uh, shitty fifth and final instalment. I think we need a Die Hard 6 uh, to uh, give this franchise the proper finale it deserves. At number 3, Adam Sandler's uh, most painful comedy period, uh, Grown Ups uh, 2. Oh, oh this, this is uh, the funeral of comedy movies. Uh, like, uh, I mean, not only 
is uh, the plot as non-existent as uh, the first uh, piece of uh, shit uh, that was unfunny. Damn, why do bad comedy movies keep getting sequels these days? What is wrong with Hollywood? It all it is is uh, yeah, Adam Sandler and uh, Kevin James, uh, who are. Uh, of course, we know them as a Drac and uh, Frankenstein in Hotel Transylvania. But whenever they do live action together, they fucking suck as a duo. And uh, Chris Rock and David Spade, Marcy from Madagascar and Cusco from Emperor's New Groove. Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, the the writers are of uh, these uh, 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 abysmal grown-ups uh, duology need uh, to grow the Fuck up. At number two, planes, more like uh, cars wanna be, just by Disney. Oh, I mean, the most uh, uh, boring as uh, fuck and uh, most uh, uh, excruciatingly predictable and uh, and. Uh, uh, most hideous to look at, uh, and, uh, most, uh, uh, cash grabber, like, uh, animated movie from 2013. I mean, uh, it's just literally the first Cars movie with planes. It's literally Mickey Mouse wiping his ass with our cash as saying, Hey, uh, let's uh, sell a bajillion of planes merchandise because a car is a Sold a literally thousands of toys, ha ha ha! Yeah, uh, planes uh, uh, feels like uh, uh, one of the biggest chores to sit through, especially for uh, the poor parents whose kids uh, dragged them to see this uh, pile of shit. Uh, but uh, if not for one uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie that uh, may uh, now be my least favourite Shyamalan movie now, and my number one worst movie of 2013 is none other than M. Night Shyamalan's infamous, notorious, After Earth. Need I say more? <sighs> oh, uh, Shyamalan, go fuck yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I have no words for how, uh, uh, unfathomably shit, uh, this, uh, shit is. And people say The Last Airbender's Shyamalan's worse, uh, no, uh, After Earth, uh, to me, it takes, uh, the cake as, uh, as Shyamalan's, uh, well, biggest, uh, catastrophe. I mean, there's no acting in this movie, it's that, uh, bad, like, Will Smith and his son Jaden Smith at the dinner scene, he's like, uh, can I go to my room, sir? Denied! Sit down! Oh, and if you think that's hamming it the fuck up, uh, Will Smith is, uh, uh, son, uh, he's in the forest and his suit goes black and he's like, I like it, but I think it's something bad. Shyamalan, I want to know what was going through your fucking mind uh, when you says, uh, oh, uh, you nailed it, Jason. Uh, we, it's as if, uh, uh, Shyamalan didn't uh, do any second takes uh, for this uh, crap. You know what doesn't make sense? I mean, why uh, the fuck would the Mother Eagle uh, rescue uh, Jaden Smith's, uh, I mean, after uh, he uh, 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 tried uh, to uh, come near her nest? Era. The dialogue is a uh, god awful. The pacing is the most god awful. Uh, this uh, makes uh, Last Airbender uh, uh, not so slowly paced in comparison. The visuals are food fight bad. The acting and direction, everything about After Earth, uh, uh, just uh, uh, screams a uh, worst a picture at the Razzies. So yeah, I'm proud to call After Earth the worst movie of 2013. Ooh, well, that was good to get uh, 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 all those uh, rants uh, off of my chest. Uh, 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 I know they have still yet to receive individual rant videos uh, of their own someday. I mean, oh, that's uh, going to be 
such a such a struggle to ever put myself through them again but uh, my hope is that none of you guys will ever have to put yourself through them that's what i'm here for to only recommend uh, the best of the best uh, in movies to you well, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, top 10 list. And what are your top 10 worst movies of 2013? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all next time uh, when I review Taylor Swift, the Eero Tours, as uh, well as uh, I will uh, rant on Trolls Free Band together. Uh, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.